Hi, my name is Alex from APC Dynamics. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enter vendors and purchase orders. First, I'm going to talk about how to view and look up vendors as well as creating a new vendor card. Then I'm going to go into creating purchase orders. Lastly, I'll talk about purchase returns where you're returning items to the vendors or you're entering the credit memos that the vendor gives you. So let's get started to access the vendor list. If it's not already on your uh, bookmarks, you could use this binocular up on, the, uh, up on the upper right corner and search for the vendor. Now, when you click on the vendors, by default, it's going to give you a list of all the vendors in your system. Before you create a new vendor, make sure you're using the search feature to verify that the vendor is not already in the system. Use this search and type the name of the vendor to make sure they're not already in the system. If the vendor is not in the system, click on this new button to create a new vendor card. By default, if the vendor number is not defined, you would type in a vendor number. So you go through and type in your vendor information. Now there are a lot of fields that are on the vendor card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the important fields that you need when you create a vendor. Okay. Obviously you have your address, your phone numbers, all that's important, but uh, in terms of processing and business central, I just want to highlight those fields under the invoicing tab, the general business posting group and the vendor posting group needs to be defined. Depending on how your business central is set up, it most likely will be defaulted for you. If not, you will need to drop down and choose the correct uh, posting groups. Scrolling down, another important field you want to make sure you define is the payment terms code. By default, it will be blank. You want to make sure you have the payment terms code, uh, payment terms that's given to you by your vendor defined. So when you run your when you run your accounts payable, you're able to grab the invoices that are going to be due. Clicking on show more on the payments tab for the US based customers. If this vendor is a 1099, you have to define this code beforehand. Okay, because the 1099 code is calculated based on the payment. If the invoice does not have a 1099 code defined, you're going to be generating 1099 reports and it's going to exclude those invoices that should be a 1099. Going down, um, expanding the receiving tab. The last field you want to pay special close attention to is the location code. The location code is the default location that the vendor will ship the product to you. You could overwrite the location code on the purchase order. So, but this is just a default. Typically, I will always recommend you enter a default location on the vendor code and change it if the purchase order is going to a different warehouse. All right, that's it for the vendor card. For the ribbons on the top, you'll see that there's more options. The two groupings on the card and the list page are action and related. Actions are basically actions that you're going to take against this particular vendor record. So for example, if I click on the action dropdown, I could create uh, at the action of creating a new purchase document. I can create payments, go to the vendor journals. I could pay the vendor. So again, these, the action is something that you're going to do with this vendor record. The related dropdown is informational. So any uh, accessory data, uh, miscellaneous data that's going to be associated with the vendor. Any kind, look at any of the items that are associated with the customer, any of the existing quotes, document, purchase documents, and look up any histories that are related to the customer. And that's it from the vendor card. When you're done, just close out of this vendor list and either keep creating new vendors or create new POs, which we will cover next. So now let's talk about creating purchase orders in Business Central. To bring up the purchase order screen, again, I'm gonna use this uh, magnifying glass to do a search for the purchase order list page. Just like in the vendors, if you have the uh, purchasing uh, shortcuts on your main menu, you're also able to just click on it directly. In this case, I'm just gonna use a search because I am so used to it. So click on purchase order, bring up the purchase order list to create a new purchase order. Click on new, 
on the name i could click on this three dots to look up my vendor once a vendor list pops up you could use this uh, magnifying glass to search on the vendor that you want if you already know the vendor number or the vendor name of the that you want to enter the purchase order for you could just type it in all right now in the lines area this is where i could start entering the items that i want to make the purchase order for make sure the location codes defaulted for you okay again this is coming from the defaults that you set that you set on the vendor card put in the quantity and you just go through and type in add a couple more items put in a quantity and so forth and so on when this order is ready to go you want to release this releasing the order uh, you notice as a status change from open to release when you release it that basically tells the other people in the organization that this order and ready to go you could click on print to print a copy of the PO or you could just click on send and it will generate an email to send the purchase order to your vendor when you're done just close out the, the PO and you'll see from the list uh, my new purchase order is created and that's it for the purchase order creation process lastly I'm gonna go through how to create a purchase return and purchase credit memo the difference between purchase return order and purchase credit memo is that return order has a shipping and invoicing process whereas the credit memo you just uh, ship an invoice uh, in one shot I'm just going to search it up purchase return order very similar to the purchase order screen click on new type in the vendor you would type in the item that you want to return uh, to the vendor on the return order there's a unique field called return reason here you can specify the return the reason why you're returning this product back to the vendor from here you could click on print or send um, send an email to your vendor for this return to create a purchase credit memo same thing use my search open up the purchase credit memo and click on new type in or select your vendor you just want to file a um, a claim with the dollar amount you would use a geo account and specify what geo account you want to have the credit go to one nice function you could use to quickly create purchase documents based on an existing purchase documents is the copy document feature the copy document feature is exactly the same on the sell side just to demonstrate i'm going to click on new push enter so it generates a document number for me on the upper left corner going to click on more options click on action function and copy document from here, I could copy from uh, order, posted invoice. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and copy it from a posted invoice. Click on this three dots on the document number to choose which purchase invoice document that I want to copy from. I want to make sure the include headers checked on and the recalculate line is checked off. If you enable recalculate lines, all the amounts would reset to what it was before and won't be a true copy of the purchase document you're trying to copy from. So when I click on OK, it will copy the document over. The only thing that's added is this document that tells you which document it's copied from. And that's it. All right, so just to recap, uh, we went over going to the vendor list and creating new vendors and looking up vendors. Then we talked about uh, creating purchase orders. And lastly, we spoke about creating purchase return orders and purchase credit memo. And that concludes our training for entering vendors and purchase documents. If you have any issues, please reach out.